Hello and welcome to another new episode of Learning Simplified. In our previous tutorial, we had learned about how to involve the sidebar toggling into our project and how to organize them synchronized way. Now in this tutorial, we will be talking about the UI semantic model. And as we are aware about, the models can be used anywhere on your page. So that is why we will be involving the modal feature, the UI semantic model feature actually, at the bottom of our web page. Stay tuned. Now in the text editor, if we head back to our text editor in the very first place, we will be needing some HTML markup language to involve the model. So in the very first place, if we head back to their official website, in this usage section, we can see that there goes the HTML markup which can be used to create our model. So we may either copy it from here or we are practically free to create our own template designing our own model into our project. Now, in this particular case, first of all, we will be using the model from their official website. So we have copied this entire code from here and here we will be pasting it. This is the first thing. As we have seen that there goes the UI model in the very first place. Then we need to create some kind of close icon. Then we have created this model header section and then we had created this content section into our project. And here goes some kind of button elements which has been used along with the model. So this is the HTML markup language that we will be working on with. Now if we press Ctrl S up to this far and if we head back to their project and reload, we can see that practically nothing can be seen. This is due to the fact that we haven't initialized any kind of models into our page. So this is the next thing that we need to do. We need to initialize it. On this occasion, if we head back to their usage section, we can see that this is practically the initialization of the model into our project. So we will be using it here. If we head back and if we set this one, So there it goes. This is the first thing that we need to do right over here. We have practically initialized the model into our project. Now if we press Ctrl S and head back to our project and reload. And now we can see that still the model is not seeing right over here. We can see that on reloading no such model dialog box is practically appearing into our web browser. So what is exactly going on? So we need to specify into our code that we have to show the model dialog box into our project. And in that order, we need to use this individual thing right over here. This is the dot model show. This is what we need to specify into our text editor. And now if we head back to our project and reload, we can see that the model dialog box right now appears right at the middle of our web page. So we may be able to create our model, but we can see that it has practically no toggling action. Can we uh, resurface it up? No, unless and until we do reload this page, here it comes, there's practically no way that other than reloading the page, we can practically see the model into our web page. So this is a very disgusting thing every time. We need to do something else into our text editor, into our code such that on clicking a particular button, we can see that a model is appearing right into our page and on clicking outside the dialog box, the model disappears again. So this is what we need to employ into our project. 